Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a very simple way to create those rotating or spinning texts in Final Cut Pro 10. So let's get started. First, go to Titles and find 360 degrees. Come to this section and choose 360 degrees rotate 3D. <laughs> it's kind of a mouthful. And drag it to your timeline, something like that. And once you hit play, and you can see that it's a very basic rotation text. And if you want to change the basic ways to rotate, it's very simple. You just click this and go to the inspector. Remember to go to this icon, the T icon, and you can change the animation style, maybe to roll. So it's becoming like this and cascade. Yep, it's something like that. And you can change whether to ease in, ease out, as in the speed, and you can keep it constant, accelerating, up to you for me i like constant yep easier to change actually and you can change both building and build out on these effects and and that's the simplest way to create those rotating or spinning effects and if you think these rotations are kind of slow it's very simple you just click on this and press option and g to create a compound clip and press command and r to speed up the entire clip or slow down the entire clip and it's going to be a very fast one and if you don't want it to be you know have a build out effect you can just deselect a build out effect so the words will stay at where it is yep so it just has a spin effect at the start and it doesn't really spin again at the end and next up i'm going to show you another way to create those effects first let's only select building and change this to none and as you can see it's going to be having this appearance kind of effect i do like this and you can change this animation style to others and i'm not gonna change anything first but to create keyframes at rotation and right click on this clip and show video animation to have a you know clearer picture and see where these keyframes are going to start you know and this button over here is actually where the keyframes are actually located at and I'm going to change the first keyframe all the way to the starting part and you know just a few frames later I'm gonna change the x-axis the y-axis the z-axis and the z-axis again and the Y axis <laughs> and the Z axis and the Z axis <laughs> and the Y axis yeah by pressing right arrow key you know it just kind of create all these effects frame by frame and that's what you need to do press right arrow key and yep everything will be going to the other direction sometimes it takes a little work and for precision sake you can always just change the values over here at the numbers and maybe when you want it to be done completely just double click and you know make them all go back to zero something like that and once you hit play you can see that that's a very fast rotating kind of effect and if you don't like this, there are a few ways to change either by dragging and spacing out everything like this one by one or simply like just now, you know, create a compound clip. Let's just cut this and create a compound clip and change the speed to be a very slow one. Yep, that's like a very basic kind of a spinning text effect and you know it's highly customizable and you guys can have a lot of fun to do this kind of effect and that's all for today's tutorial hope you guys enjoyed this and bye bye